So we've got our bit of paper here. Let's draw out a quick site map for what we're going to create. So let's start off by saying this is our this is our home page. This is page number one. And then from the home page, the user will be able to um, browse browse the artwork. So basically browse all of the artwork in our, our little web system. And then when they find a piece of artwork that they like, they can click on that link and then they'll be able to view, view the artwork. All right. So we'll call that page number one, page number two, page number three. What else? Okay, so let's also maybe create a page here or a section here where they can maybe browse, browse by the artist. All right, so once they've found a specific artist, they click on the artist, it shows all of the artwork, and then ultimately they'll be able to view the artwork. What else do we need? Uh, well, a lot of the sites I've seen have keywords, so maybe we can have a section here that says browse Browse by keyword. Uh, and again, once they click on a keyword, it then shows all of the art. And then once they find the art they're interested in, eventually they end back on this page again so they can view the artwork. What else do we need? Uh, State the best driven, of course, so we can leverage search. So let's have a search page. And finally, let's have an about page as well. So some just a bit of text which tells people about the website. And I'll label these up, number five, number six, and number seven. All right, so there's our basic sitemap. It's a bit messy, isn't it? But it gives us an idea about the pages that we are creating in our little application. Right, let's sort of draw out a simple wireframe which illustrates the design. And again, we're not going to worry too much about the design at this point. We'll do a very low fidelity wireframe. So if I draw out my basic page, Again, it's going to be a little bit messy. Um, let's maybe put a header in at the top and we'll, we'll say this is the art site. So this is going to be our title. We'll come up with some sort of little logo there. Okay, um, let's go for a standard two column layout. You would have seen this on the web, of course. And this is where our navigation is going to be. So these are these pages which we indicated in the sitemap. So let's have home page, let's have browse, browse by artist, keyword, search, and finally our about. Okay, so the user can click on these links to view the content. We'll have our little footer, so this will be our little copyright notice. We could put some other links in there as well. Uh, and this is going to be our main content area. So let's just take one of these pages as an example. Let's maybe think about, well, this is this seems to be one of the main pages. This is where the user eventually wants to get to. They want to view some individual pieces of art. And let's draw this out. So we might have artwork uh, title. And then it's actually going to show the artwork. So we'll just draw a quick box to illustrate an image. That's going to be the piece of artwork. We might have some sort of description of the artwork. Maybe a few paragraphs. Maybe some keywords, which we talked about. So the user can click on a keyword and then view other related artwork. Yeah, OK, that should be enough, I think, for us to get started. So we've got our basic header area. This is going to contain our logo and our title. Uh, we've got our navigation area. We've got our footer area. And we've got our content area. Pretty standard stuff. OK, now important point to note is that the majority of our site is going to look quite similar. So the header, the navigation area and the footer area are going to remain consistent. The only minor difference, of course, is we might indicate to the user which page they're on by highlighting a specific area. And we could do that with a little bit of CSS. But the footer, the navigation and the header area are going to be consistent. So what we could do is move those things into separate little files, like little fragments, and we can use them in our design. And it saves us having to duplicate code on all of these pages. All right, so there's our basic sitemap. There's our basic wireframe. They are a little messy. 
but um, hopefully you've been able to see just in a few minutes we've we've got an idea of where we're going. Now, of course, if you were doing this for real and you're working with a client, you might spend a lot more time doing this. You might go through a very detailed process, exploring the architecture and how people navigate around the website. You might be thinking more um, in more detail about the level of content that you put on here. And you might refine this up from a low fidelity mock-up, a quick sketch like this, up to almost, you know, the final product. Um, so a high fidelity uh, mock-up. And you might do a little bit of this on the computer and you might do some mock-ups and, you know, there's a whole range of these exercises. It's important to get this stuff right before diving in too much uh, of the code because you don't want to waste your time. But the whole point of this exercise and this series of videos is just to illustrate what we can do with just the basics that we've covered so far, which is a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS and a little bit of JavaScript. And that makes up our, our front end. And then we're working with SQL, SQL Lite, and our database. And that makes up our, or on PHP, of course, <laughs> that makes up our, our back end. And what we're doing is kind of gluing this stuff together. All right, now we've only covered the basics, and therefore the application that we're going to build is only going to leverage the basics in each of these areas. If you've done some research or you've done some of this stuff before, no doubt, as we're going through the videos, you might be thinking, oh, there's a better way of doing that. Absolutely, there's lots and lots of different ways of doing it. But this serves as a really great starter. And if we can build this simple application, it'll give us a good starting point and plenty of things to discuss and also plenty of things that we can review on how we can make it more modular, more flexible, more performant, better coding style, um, and so on. OK, so I hope you're excited. That's what we're going to build. Let's get onto the computer and get the basics of this set up.